What's up, everybody? JVB from the Post Game Report podcast and talking about games.com. Check us out. And while you're there, check out all of the other awesome content. Here I'm playing Watch Dogs. I'm just going to mess around and I'm uh, causing destruction. As you can see, I hacked the traffic lights. And there are people going crazy. Pretty soon we'll see an explosion of some sort. I don't know why there wasn't, uh, it was, you know, the, the, exp the crash wasn't that crazy, but yet chances are, oh, look at this guy. You know what? In real life, that would probably happen. There'd be a massive car crash. And instead of helping out, this motherfucker wants to take pictures and post it on Twitter. I can't really talk because, uh, I hate to say it. I probably would do the same thing, but honestly i would help out first and then you know what this motherfucker just left i'm gonna grab him i, I forgot how to run so i'm gonna have to jog after his ass but you know that's that's not the right thing to do you know that's not being a good civilian helping your fellow mate you know if i can punch this guy i would maybe i could hack him can i hack him uh i can't hack him Maybe I should shoot his ass. Maybe I should shoot him in the fucking leg. There we go. Bastard. Freaking prick. Whoop. Okay, anyway. Let's go back. Not that I'm a violent guy, guys. I mean, you know, I'm just saying. You know? There's a massive car crash. Somebody left their umbrella and he totally ignored that. He didn't want to make sure anybody was okay, even though I'm the one who caused this accident. But that's besides the point. No, nobody's dead. You know, no, no severe injuries. People are walking. Yeah, I wonder who did this. Um, sorry, lady. Um, if I could help you out, I would. Uh, anyway, let's move along. And because this guy is not going to be using this car, let me just hop in here. Thank you. Thanks. Oh, I'm sorry. That's your car. Sorry. All right. Causing a little more mayhem. Boom. There we go. Let's see what happens when I do this. Oh, people are a little more aware. Less trap. Whoa. All right. Nobody crashed. All right. Let's find. Oh, we just blow that up real quick. As you can see, I'm uh, just demonstrating some of the key elements in Watch Dogs, some of the key gameplay elements. Uh, let's try this traffic light. You know what? Let me park. And because I'm such a great citizen, I follow all the rules. I'm going to park the car correctly. So let's see what happens here. And nothing. People are following the rules the way they're meant to be followed, and that is why no accidents occurred. Get the hell out of my way. Get out of my way. All right, there we go. So, watchdogs, it's semi-open world, and I say semi because you can't get into buildings and stuff like that. And uh, feels re very reminiscent of Grand Theft Auto, and why can I not put down these barricades? So I'm going to have to go around and forcing my hand, pretty much. Oh, this is going to be good. This is going to be... Boom! Ooh! Uh, <clears throat> I was going to say nice, but that's not nice. But darn. Are you stuck? Let me help this guy out. Are you stuck? No, no. Are you stuck? Let me get you out. Get out. Take your damn car or two. Stupid ass couldn't get out of his own damn car. Oh, whoa, whoa. somebody's calling the cops. Nine one one. What's your emergency? Have to get out here quickly, uh, right? I don't think so. Hack your shit. Where is he? You know that's one thing about this game. There's no melee option. The only time you can do a melee is if you're in a sequence. And this lady is just looking at the car. Hey, 
How are you, baby? Do you want to play wrestling? Hi. I said hi. How are you? Do you want to go to my bedroom and play patty cake with me? Anyway, she's ignoring me. Oh yeah, you were. Hmm. How you doing? Hi. You wanna play patty cake? What the hell, man? Alright, let me see if I set up... Let me see if I throw a grenade around here if, uh... You know, what kind of mayhem I can... You know, ignite a little bit, you know, just, just play around and stuff. Let me see here, uh... Everybody Wang Chung! Ooh! Hot diggity damn! Gonna have to hack this nubs. State your emergency, please. I need cops here. No, you don't. Can you repeat that? Hello? No, you don't. You don't need any cops. So anyway, as I was stating, uh, you know, now that I'm for violence here, um, as you can see, whoever was in there, they disappeared. Where the hell did they go? I mean, quite honestly, is that a shoe? Did I just knock somebody's shoes off? No, that's not a shoe. That's a side view mirror. Oh, crap. <laughs> wow, I feel bad. Um, I guess the individual in that car is now over here. Anyway, let me go take a stroll. So as I was stating, there's no melee button, so you just can't walk up to people and melee them. And I'm going to jump this bridge. As you can see, I'm hacking. I'm... And, and, you know, there's a lot of hacking going on because the main character, who is quite honestly a little dull in the personality department, uh, Hayden, I believe is his name, uh, quite honestly, uh, maybe I said quite honestly a little too much, he's a little unmemorable. And I'd rather do the side or, or I'd rather mess around like this right now that story is getting a little bit intriguing or it's intri it's becoming i'm being intrigued or some shit with the story not the most memorable story so far and a little cliche with revenge <clears throat> and somebody in the family is in danger and you got to save them things of that nature and considering that this game was delayed i expected more depth Especially with the main character. But the fun thing to do is hack a lot of things and cause mayhem and do some of the side missions. Some of the side missions, they do get boring or, or repetitive. But let me demonstrate which ones I like to do. And this is the map. If, you, if you're playing on the PlayStation 4, you press down on the touchpad. So these particular missions where uh, let me see you call them oh yeah criminal convoys and you're stopping a convoy of vehicles from reaching a certain point and you have a few ways of stopping them here it's showing that you set up a trap or a roadblock and you're sniping the boss or sometimes you got to knock them down like you gotta have them get out of the car and knock them down which can be a pain in the butt because I like to set them up and blow everybody up but when you got to knock them down you got to make sure the boss comes out and then as you're getting in the midst of being shot you got to somehow reach him reach the boss and knock him down and there you can melee so it's a little, it has this plus and minuses I, I enjoy because it allows me to use all my gadgets and stuff like that. But that's about it. Here are some cops. They're approaching me. And I'm going to start a little crap with the cops. <laughs> and of course, whoa, holy crap. All right, I got me a nice car that might be able to outrun the cops but here i'm gonna use some of my gadgetry oh wow 
Well, I caught the cops. Oh, crap. I'm going to have to try to outrun them over here. Oh, as you can see, the initial... Oh, no, I don't want to hit you. The initial chase, I was able to outrun them. But if I don't outrun them... Oh, flocking schnauzer. As you can see, now they're back in pursuit. More for a little steam. Oh, I didn't neutralize in time. There we go. Use some of my skills to get away. And if all else fails, I can just go swimming. All right. I can tell by the little mini map that they're on the other side of the sh they're on another road crap oh <laughs> oh crap i didn't time it as good as i should have yes you did lose me mother hubbers whoa flocking schnauzer all right, well, I'm going to try to lose him, but it's not looking good because I'm still within that circle, circle of life. And as long as I'm still within that circle, as you can see here, I lost him. 